So now that we know a few things about spreadsheets, we're going to proceed learning a little bit about calculations and functions. Now, calculations are really what make spreadsheets so powerful and useful. Uh, calculations allow us to answer a few different questions, like what if we want to add some things together? And we can go beyond that. We can introduce more and more complicated arithmetic. Uh, what if we want to make some calculations? What if we want to you know, look at a bunch of data and add and subtract values or determine averages or anything like that? There are a lot of different aggregates we might want to investigate, like min or max or average or sum of a lot of different data. So a spreadsheet, fortunately, can be used as a very simple calculator to answer a lot of these questions. For example, if you just start typing the equal sign, then 2 plus 2, and hit the enter key, what you'll see in your spreadsheet is 4 will show up in A1, cell A1, just like we have in the picture here. Uh, but in the formula bar in Google Sheets, you'll see equals 2 plus 2. And basically what you're telling Google, or Google Sheets is that you want to add two numbers together, but what the spreadsheet shows you is the result. So if I do that, equals 2 plus 2, what I'll see in A1 is 4, but the formula bar will be different. It will show me what actually caused that, that output. Now, we can also get into cell names, and those are going to be very important because, to be completely honest, equals 2 plus 2 isn't very useful. You know, even if you have very complicated functions and you want to type equals 2 plus 2 minus 7 divided by 3, you know, and you want to keep going further and further and further, there's only so much value. There's only so far you can take that. But you can use other cells as inputs into your arithmetic, and you use that by the cell name. So here you can see we have a, a very small spreadsheet set up where we're adding two numbers together. And uh, you can see on the left screen here, or the left screenshot, the spreadsheet, we're looking at cells B1 and B2. And if you look at that, B1 is the orange cell here. It's in column B, row 1 and B2 is in column B and row 2 and you can see the, the blue, orange and purple outlines that identify which is one. It does a very good job of uh, color coding these so it's easier to follow. But you can see in cell B3 I'm typing B1 plus B2 and then over in the right screenshot you can see the result of that which is 4. Now this also introduces an interesting, uh, this, this little example introduces an interesting uh, use here and that is if I type in plus or I type in equals Google Sheets will give me an error. It doesn't like me to just type in those values. And there are a few different things you can't just type in directly. Uh, but fortunately, there's this apostrophe. And the idea is that if you enter the apostrophe before anything, it forces it to just be plain text. It forces it to just ignore what that might mean as far as formula or calculation uh, and allows you to just look at what that happens to be. This might be useful if you're trying to enter, number, enter numbers as text or you're trying to do something that's uh, maybe not giving you the results you want. The apostrophe basically says, just ignore what this is and show what I'm typing you. Now notice in the right screenshot, A2 and A3, the two cells, do not show that apostrophe, even though in the formula bar you can see it. So that formula bar kind of shows you exactly what is behind the scenes as opposed to what you're actually seeing in the spreadsheet itself. Now, we can also work with ranges, and ranges are going to be important when we get into uh, to formula or functions, uh, because ranges are going to allow us to look at a whole lot of data without typing out every cell tediously. You know, if you had to type out A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, every time you wanted to just use a small range, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be very useful. It would slow you down a lot. So ranges, fortunately, allow you to look at a lot of cells at the same time. So if you look at this uh, on the left screenshot, we have uh, this percentage, uh, these percentage values, and we're looking at the range A2 to A7. And basically that's just saying, sh I'm looking at everything between cell A2 and A7, as well as A2 and A7. Now you can see on the right side here what that actually looks like. Now, you, usually you won't, you won't need to use the sheet one exclamation point. That's just saying that this range is in sheet one, but most of the time you'll probably be working within the same sheet. So you can see here A2 to A7, and we can name that range, which is what we're doing here. When we select that range and we go to data, named ranges, that allows us to name the range so that we can also use the name, if I just call this percentages, I can use that name later when I'm performing calculations. When we get into demonstration and how we can actually use these things, that's going to be pretty useful. Now, there are a lot of different functions as well. So if I use a spreadsheet and I just type equals and then I enter some numbers, it's going to give me the, it's going to perform that calculation. But there are some things that, you know, I might want to use something built in or I might want to do something that's not quite so obvious how to do in basic math. So for example, pi, you know, I don't necessarily want to type out pi every single time I need to use it. So if I just type equals 
pi and then the parentheses that will output the value of pi in my cell. Uh, it won't show me, you know, pi parentheses, it will show me that value. But if you look, again, if you look in your formula bar, you will see pi in parentheses. Uh, the rand function, which will give you a random number between 0 and 1. Uh, you can also use functions to round values. So if I want to round a value to a certain number of decimal places, I can use a function for that. So I can use that on a number itself. So I could type in equal sign round uh, value, the, like 3.745, and then round that to say one decimal place. Or I could use round and then give, instead of typing in a number, I could give it a named cell, which would then give me the value of that cell rounded. I can also use absolute value if I want to know, you know, turn negative numbers into positive numbers or positive numbers also into positive numbers. So all of these functions give me some basic mathematic uh, capability. And there actually are a lot more functions. And as we go through these these different examples, we'll see a lot of different functions. But uh, there are fortunately, fortunately, it's pretty easy to use them. We'll see that once we get into the spreadsheet. There are also lots of aggregate functions that you'll see. Uh, count, if we want to count a number of values. Now, if we were entering the values one by one, that wouldn't be so useful because we would just we would already know how many values were there. However, because we can enter ranges here, we can actually count very large number of values. And we can also count where there are values. So uh, count can be pretty useful if we want to summarize a lot of data very quickly. Uh, max and min will tell us the maximum value or the minimum value within a, a group of values. We can also look at rank, which will tell us where the value falls in the distribution of the, the values. Let's say if we sort them all and we have the smallest, the smallest should be one, and then the largest should be you know, the number of values that we're looking at. We can also sum a lot of data together using the sum function, and we can use an average to take an average of a lot of values. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at all of these different functions in our next video. We're going to do some demonstration of how to use these different functions.